Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Odd Taxi episode number two. All right, the previous episode, that was the first episode and it was a really, like I got really interested seeing the first episode. I was really not expecting this to be a mystery anime because like, you know, seeing the poster and everything, I, I, had, I, I, I had no idea that this would be a mystery show. And I am quite happy. It was it was a really real surprise, and I'm really intrigued now. So uh, we met uh, these characters. The main character Odo Odokawa. Uh, he's a walrus, and he drives like he's a taxi driver. And like there's a lot of mystery surrounding him, and the whole show is kind of setting everything up to make it seem as if. He is suspicious about a few things. The whole uh, scene with him actually talking in his room alone, looking at the closet. That was one thing that actually like, you know, <laughs> made us feel like something must be wrong with him or she must be hiding something. Uh, the missing girl, uh, like, you know, there's also something I'm sure like she's also somehow related to all of this mystery. And uh, the the guy, uh, the the who, what was his name? Da Dabu or Dobu? So, something like that. Like, you know, uh, he has also, like, you know, I, I think some kind of ties with this because they're like showing him constantly. Or maybe they're just trying to throw us off. <laughs> Either of it. And um, the police officer, he is also somehow connected to that guy. They're doing some kind of shady business together. And uh, there's another mystery with the alpaca. I can't remember her name. Uh, some mystery with her regarding her because those like you know those medicines went missing and she was seen meeting with dobu i think or dabu uh meeting with him in secret like a lot of things are happening and like uh yeah i'm really intrigued i'm really uh, like you know curious to see how this goes and like like who the actual like you know how did uh, the girl get kidnapped or why is she missing all these mysteries i'm really curious about and i think i, I got a little uh, i'm not sure but this is just a guess but i think most probably the girl who was um who's missing is somehow related to that idol group because we see a girl there similar to the girl who got missing her appearance and she's wearing a mask in the idol group i'm not sure i might be wrong but that's just a little thing that i kind of thought after seeing the like you know both of the like the security camera feed and also the idol group them singing and dancing so yeah anyway so yeah that was episode one so let's get started this is episode number two of our taxi so yeah without further ado let's start all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go This uh, Odokawa, he he really doesn't look like a guy who would do these type of like you know kidnappings or stuff. Like he seems like a very what can I say down to earth. Yeah, that that girl I'm talking about, like who I suspect being the girl who is actually missing. Anyways, as I was saying, like like Odokawa really looks like a guy who is down to earth and. Like, you know, who would not harm anything. He's a bit blunt. That's just one thing. But that's just, like, you know, his personality. <laughs> Wait a minute. I realized something. Seeing the opening. Oh my god. The the one in the closet. It's a cat. Oh no. Yeah, like he was saying stuff like you can run away and everything. <laughs> it is a cat. I'm sure about it now. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Shirakawa. Who is Shirakawa? <laughs> Oh, the alpaca, okay. 
Oh. Privately owned taxi. <laughs> oh, there, there she is. I know it's Shirakawa, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> what is homos? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> he's quite heated up. Mm. Ah, oh God. She's looking at Odakawa continuously. Over conference for her, damn. Oh my God, the... <laughs> okay. Why can't you sleep? Oh, so that was okay. Okay, I remember in the first episode with the medicines. <laughs> oh boy. What? I, I, I think that was some kind of reference. I didn't get it. How old is he? 41. Oh, she knows it, yeah. Oh, yeah, medical records. Ha! <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Press interview. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe her parents are. Uh, yeah, maybe the, her parents are not here anymore or something like that. She's regretting not actually relying on them when she had the chance. <laughs> wow, she can. <laughs> Yeah, she can sing as well. Oh, may no, maybe they're alive. I thought they were... Yeah, I'm quite sure who that is. It's Goriki, isn't it? Like, I kind of saw in this first episode. The way she, he was... Or maybe not, let's see. Oh. Uh, wait, is this a joke? I thought... Wait, really? I thought it was Goriki. I mean, oh my god.
<laughs> yeah, we're she, he's in the gray zone. <laughs> um Wow. Yes. I don't know why, but I still think there's a misunderstanding. <laughs> why? <laughs> Mm, support group, okay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, why? No. Oh. <laughs> oh no, what the? She -ho. What the? Did, did he just... Oh no, it is for him, okay. <laughs> okay. How to get to what the Oh this is that guy Four likes Ha <laughs> yep bad <laughs> ear is twitching This is Tai Chi alright Yo. <laughs> and the replies are getting more likes than his post. That's really... Yeah, this went really viral, like... But for some different reason. Oh no, is he like... They're doing a meet and greet or something? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, they are doing it. Rui, okay. Whoa. Oh, my God. <clears throat> it's a man. Oh no, there she is! Okay, oh maybe I was wrong, alright. <laughs> oh wait, really? Oh, 
okay or maybe not okay 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 Hmm, yeah. Well, time to go. Damn. Yeah, why are they not showing their faces? Like, this is it's something... <laughs> Wait, you're saying that she was not? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> uh, they talk like JKs. Oh my god, the the face. Ah oh boy, here we go. Ah Imai. Oh Okay. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, he's <laughs> getting in. Okay. Wow, he's so happy. Um, that's not how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's nice. Well, at least he's getting 2,000 yen. Like. Oh, he, oh boy, that's why. Okay. Okay, the group's name is Mystery Kiss. It's one of the first ones. <laughs> oh, they did not. Okay. That time they did not wear masks. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Huh. 
Oke. Okay. <laughs> What? Oh. Oh, the thing we saw in first episode as well. <laughs> true, very true. Ten. <laughs> oh. What the? So many of them. Okay, ten is also there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, it's eleven p.m. Almost twelve. Is this a bore? I think so. All right. The, the guys are talking on the radio. In their dialect. Zuden. <laughs> oh, almost. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, me as well. Yeah. Best act in the nation. Oh. Hmm. Nah, they're making this together, so... Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah. Food show. Yeah, I kind of. 
Boy, what the? Oh my god, he's quite short. I did not notice that before. Oh no, is this who I think it is? Mm, yep, it is who I think it is. Ah, well, it would have come sooner or later. Like, you know, they got the whole thing viral. Oh no. Oh god. Well. <clears throat> now, one thing. I was saying before that the the girl who got missing is somehow related to um the girl in the idol uh idol group. What was her name? Me some I can't remember. But now I see that she's there. So that means that I was wrong. But at the same time <sighs> Yeah, maybe I am wrong, you know? Maybe there's no relation to that. Because when we saw her talking with her colleague, that's her idol friend, she was pretty normal. Okay, that's the end. Like, she was pretty normal. She, like, it, like, you know, she did, she was not acting suspicious, nothing like that. So, like, I'm probably wrong. Like, as I said, like, the appearance of the girl who got missing that was uh, captured in the cctv camera and the girl who is doing the idol uh, uh, you know who's in the idol group they're they, they look pretty similar to each other so i kind of made that connection i thought that okay maybe maybe they're the same person and another thing that kind of made me think that it was the same person was because she always wears a mask like that's why no one knows her face so like you know i kind of made that connection but like the girl is still missing but she, this girl is here doing her idol job just like normal so i'm guessing i'm wrong i think so i'm not sure uh, who knows like let's see like we still need more hints more clues uh, otherwise i won't be able to actually you know make a decision that yeah like that i was wrong or i was right so most probably i am wrong so yeah like i'll keep that for later on you know when we get more clues regarding the girl who went missing and uh, yeah okay so uh, this episode here uh okay the first thing that was really i was really curious not curious but really surprised is uh, the girl shirakawa the alpaca girl like in the first episode i remember uh like you know her actually being quite like you know sad looking at goriki like when goriki was like you know doing some kind of thing on her on his computer or something he was outside she was outside the door and she looked at goriki looked kind of sad and went away now that's why in this episode when she was just asking about how who you like and all that stuff i thought maybe you know she she liked goriki and that's why you know she was making that kind of face in the previous episode like it, it was not surprising because she and goriki were always like you know uh, like they're like colleagues and like it, it, it would not be surprising if she liked goriki that's why i kind of thought like that but here i was really surprised when she suddenly brought that up in front of um, odokawa he brings like who do you like you know all that stuff and Odoka kind of replies and asks her back that who do you like and she 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 readily says that yeah there is a person I like and when Gori, uh, when Odoka says that do you have a picture she says like yeah I have it and she just gives the phone to him now here's the thing that I again find a little bit suspicious first of all if she really liked uh, Odokawa why would she do that in the, in the first case like he just like gave her the phone to him and there was the like you know what was that the camera wasn't it like you know i think it was like the front camera was open so that's why it showed his face so just a sec let me check that portion again yeah she hands over the phone to him 
and yeah the front camera is open so like obviously that kind of makes us like you know makes us feel that yeah maybe she deliberately did that to let uh let Odoka know that she actually likes him but if she actually liked him why like i don't know like why would she suddenly bring it up like this in, in, like in, in, in this kind of a weird way like you know like she suddenly gets into the taxi talks about who do you like it was as if she was like you know i don't know like i feel like she was actually trying for the conversation to go in this direction so that she can actually do this you know like giving the phone to him and making him think that yeah she actually likes him i don't know i might be too paranoid <laughs> maybe it's as simple as we see she really likes him but i feel like there must be something else here i don't know why but as i said like i might be too paranoid and i might be completely wrong but i feel something is going on here otherwise as i said like why in this weird way she she's doing this like, you know it's like a really what can i say like confusing way that she's actually confessing to him that yeah she likes him whereas she could have just told him or maybe she she's shy i don't know and, uh, to tell him directly but if she is shy why would she even bring this whole thing up like there's a lot of things like you know <laughs> so okay for, for the second episode my dis like you know i think up until now that there must be something going on like the whole thing that she's doing here that she, she's letting him deliberately know that she actually likes him and maybe there is a different goal she has which which we still don't know another thing that kind of makes us suspicious like you know i wouldn't be so suspicious of her if she, we did not see the in the first episode her actually talking with um uh, do i always mix that name up dobu or dabu what is his name just a sec i think it's dobu isn't it just a sec let me just double check Dobu, yeah, like I would not be so su uh, suspicious of her if we did not see in the first episode she had some kind of thing with Dobu. They were talking with each other, so that's why I'm thinking maybe she's actually doing this to, I don't know, like for some reason. Because also in the end we see Dobu actually gets into his text and points a gun at him. So like who knows? Like you know, like I don't know. Like <laughs> let's just wait for it. I'm sure we'll get more answers to it. But up until now, I think she's suspicious. Something must be going on. And all right. And then they like, you know, in, in the sauna, the whole conversation happens. And. Uh, what else? And AG, I think his name is AG, isn't it? The. Yeah, the one who was with. Yeah, who was with Otokawa uh, in the sauna. AG, I remember her, him actually kind of. Like you know swiping left and right <laughs> uh, in the previous episode on his phone so i'm guessing he got a match with someone where like suddenly like this, this girl here's her name is shiho oh my god she is under not underage but she's very young i did not notice that before 18 years old and okay well and as far as i could guess he's also like you know age is also similar to age with Odokawa. You know, Odokawa said that he's 41 and he said something like Eiji said something about like yeah we're almost our age is like you know increasing and all. So I'm guessing he's also somehow close to age uh, Odokawa's age maybe 40 or 39 something like that. Huge difference I can see age. Anyways um okay like yeah this girl she says that i was intrigued by a genuine, genuine looking photo so i sent you a message feel free to message back <laughs> and he got shocked <laughs> like you know he got petrified and uh, yeah anyways um <clears throat> okay and then we all right um all right and then we get to the next scene where we see the Hippo, I what is his name? Mm, just a sec. Taichi. Okay, Taichi, that's his name. So
all right um here's another tweet which got a lot of uh retweets that is given by Shof shofute donraku uh we were told young people aren't watching tv but popular tweets tend to be about tv people who brag about <coughs> brag about not watching it are just addicted to their phones not only that but they're idiots who think they're actively gathering information five hours ago damn so many retweets and so many likes okay who is this guy i don't think we've seen him before uh like the don't look that that guy okay there's a lot of old people causing problems again lamao real japanese man your raku isn't very funny oh <laughs> Oh my god they're trolling him all right hmm okay so i don't know i okay no 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 he's a different person anyways uh all right and uh, that scene happens and in the next scene we get to the idol like you know the whole idol uh portion where this girl she what was her name it's a lot of names to actually remember um i can't remember anyways uh the the main girl the leader who's like in the leader position like she's doing some kind of like you know meet and not meet and greet i'm guessing like a few of them were like actually there and she's kind of like hand checking and all so yeah and this guy here uh who's the biggest fan i'm guessing Imai, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah, Imai or Imai Shun. Okay, uh, this guy here, uh, he has been one of the original fans. Now, <laughs> you know what? Actually, f f f like I don't know why, but this is this whole thing that is kind of. But I don't blame them in a way. Like idols, especially in idol, like you know things. Uh, the person like who was so happy talking with him, like you know, like that way. As soon as they go behind the curtains. Like they completely change completely that is in a way but i you know what like i can i kind of understand that because they have to always keep this smiling face in front of everyone and like that that becomes tiring out uh, like uh, after a while so usually they become uh, like you know kind of revert back to their own personality get annoyed about these things but still has to keep a smile going on in front of their fans so whenever they go back behind the curtains they become kind of gloomy and i'm not talking like not all of them i'm talking about some certain like you know certain a few idols who are actually really stressed out about stuff like you know like has to always like stressed out about the fact that they has to, has to always keep a smiling face happy face in front of um like you know their fans so they're just tired of it so <clears throat> yeah and uh like the way it kind of changes you know the face like when we saw her in, backstage she was like kind of like you know scowling and all like not happy at all so yeah but anyways that's just something and <clears throat> like the way she was actually interacting with Imai like you know like okay I'll give you a hug and then like okay like you'll get an autograph as well like you know uh, I'm so happy you came and then when she goes back she's like um okay yeah we're not doing good <laughs> like this so like it's just something that is really like you know kind of what can i say the whole thing with idol like you know like keep a smile in front of your uh, uh like fans and all this thing and uh, it's it's really stressful and kind of like i'm guessing uh, kind of affects them mentally as well the idols that that are doing this so yeah but as i said i don't blame them like keeping a, a smiling face in front of so many people even if some people are acting creepy and weird with about you you still have to keep a smiling face like just imagine like there's so many fans a couple of them that are definitely creepy and like you know like really acts weird and still in front of them as well you have to keep a smiling face and you'll be you have to be like oh i'm so glad you came something like this like yeah they'll mess with your head so yeah anyways and <clears throat> Okay, one thing. All right, here's the thing. Uh, when they talk about the other two girls, uh, Imai says that I assume they take their masks off for the Polaroids. Nobody want to Polaroid if they're masked. 
oh they can be cute but you uh, not as cute as Vitan. okay okay her name is Rui okay uh, okay but those were the conditions for our debut all right here's the thing so that means there was a condition given to them only those two two of them like they they only have to put put masks like what's that about like i don't get it like okay i would have understood if all three of them had to put their mask and that would be the condition of their debut like they can show their face blah 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 all that stuff so i could kind of understand that but like what is the actual like i don't know significance of two of them wearing a mask and only one of them not wearing a mask i don't know like this is the one thing that can kind of confuse me i'm sure there must be some kind of reason i don't know like who knows like i would have understood if the girls themselves said that okay like we won't like you know we will wear masks because we want to hide our identity so like if if they gave this condition like i would have understood it like okay like these two girls they have some kind of problem they don't want their face to go out all that stuff you know like that's why i i would have understood if like that was the actual thing but from this episode i i can probably understand like you know as far as i could understand it's actually the condition that they gave to them like you'll have to wear masks like that's one thing that's confusing me so i don't know like I, i'm sure we'll get some answers in the future <clears throat> all right um all right here's the thing uh imai then says that mitsuya san's dancing has gotten a little sloppy is she not feeling well all right here here's the thing that kind of made me a little bit suspicious again like you know when i saw them in in this like you know episode i thought that okay maybe the uh like you know uh the cat girl the black like you know the black i guess that's a cat isn't it yeah it must be you know the black furred cat girl i thought that she and the girl who was missing were the same but then in this episode we suddenly see them here doing like all like you know their idol uh job and i was like okay i was wrong probably like no that's they must not be the same girl and then again like here in my kind of says that is she, like her name is mitsuya isn't it yeah she said he says that is she not feeling well like she's not dancing properly and like all that stuff and then this kind of again made me a little bit suspicious like like a lot of things are kind of going on on my head like number one is who knows maybe the, that the girl that is missing maybe it's not that she's missing but she's kind of concealing herself you know and because like of that like because of some reason she's concealing herself or i don't know like who knows like and then like that's why we can probably if, if she is this girl that's why probably she's kind of still doing her idol work because she does not want people to get suspicious of her like, you know if the idol girl also kind of like you know vanishes then maybe the girl who got missing it will like you know they'll kind of relate to it and say that okay like this girl and this girl are the same so maybe to avoid that she's still doing her idol job but at the same time her original person who she is she's kind of concealing herself from the outside world and because she's wearing a mask people can't recognize her here and like this is not going in my head now, i know this is like some kind of full-blown conspiracy theory <laughs> and i might be completely wrong but i don't know why but i still am a little bit suspicious of her as i said uh this might be a completely uh wrong assumption that i'm making and it's, it probably is because after that we kind of see her talking and interacting with the other uh you know other girl as well and she did not seem that much stressed out or something so maybe i am wrong she is probably not that girl anyways for the future episodes i'm guessing more answers or more hints okay uh, oh another thing i did not notice this before uh Rui says that she works part-time while attending lessons and streaming from home she might be tired okay like this i did not notice it's while reacting to it anyways all right and then like the, the i think there was a manager she said he says something like go and sell these things outside like damn like they have to do the idle job and then like if their goods don't get sold out they themselves have to go and oh my god that's like ah i don't know and it's also kind of insulting for them as well you know like when like they, as we saw they felt bad in the 
like after that like as they say that oh like because we are not they like, you know, popular enough we have to do this and Rui does not have to do anything like all that stuff so i don't know that, that kind of like sound is <clears throat> like a really bad but yeah anyways and then we get to like uh, behind the screen uh like you know uh, uh backstage we go backstage here's another thing i'll have to check out i probably missed it while reacting to it i was not properly paying attention to it phone her phone his phone rings he says that it's them all right i did not pay attention to this when i was reacting to it okay hello this is yamamoto yes yes it went smoothly yes half right of course what a dash cam okay this is the thing that kind of is um suspicious dash cam maybe the person who is talking with him is referring to something about otokawa i don't know i look for him there you go oh you know what i kind of realized maybe this is like you know maybe dobu is in the phone maybe dobu is calling him and he has some kind of connection to this guy the manager and he tells about him that like you know I, 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 someone from like you know in the dash cam like they got my picture and uh, i needed to find this guy there's a tweet here you go and check him out and give me his location or something like that and this guy says that okay like uh, i'll look for him and that's why in uh, you know in the end dobu actually finds him finds odokawa i don't know let's see okay there you go oh do you know the driver's name okay this this became more uh you know i'm not sure what i can do if you don't you're right understood all right here it is so okay just a sec okay so that means most probably that was dobu on this on the phone so who knows okay so maybe i was kind of suspecting shirakawa wrongly you know like i thought shirakawa had some kind of connection with dobu so that's why through Shira, shirakawa's like you know uh, like through, what do you call it uh to shirakawa's uh because shirakawa knew uh, odokawa i thought maybe shirakawa kind of told dobu about it and dobu in the end got to uh odokawa so maybe that's not it maybe like do actually got the information from this guy so yeah that might be it but there's still something suspicious about shirakawa <laughs> that's one thing and then we get to the next portion imai goes uh like you know gets in the taxi and he's broke all that stuff i need money you know <laughs> and he has like you know used up all his money for the goods and stuff Okay, another thing I kind of saw here is like so when they debuted, none of them wear any wore any mask. That means. So I wonder why the, uh, like later on they like started wearing mask. Why like you know the manager must have like you know as I said like that was the debut uh, like condition or something. So why did they start wearing mask like later on? Like that's one thing. Maybe that's just like their marketing strategy, you know, like it kind of makes them more mysterious and only like, you know, brings Rui in front of like, a, what do you say, like, like a, a, in front of the spotlight. Maybe that's just the way they're marketing this. I don't know. So. Okay. <laughs> and then he asks for the numbers and like Otoka kind of gives him a few numbers, like 10, something like that. And, and then comes in homo sapiens now i uh, like uh, recognize them from the way they're talking they, he, they have a dialect i'm not sure what that act, dialect is actually is maybe it's an osakan dialect i'm not sure but they they, they have a dialect where uh, how they talk and like you know everything like they were doing like they were kind of like saying that okay like we are not like you know people are not actually watching us and the the one uh not the boar the other one uh, who is that is that a horse or what is it i can't say who he actually is is this is he a horse or i don't know but anyways you know like it was like they were kind of talking and it was kind of implied that uh not the boar but the other guy you know he's a little bit like you know like less in popularity he's not that funny 
all that stuff and the other guy was kind of like you know saying that okay don't like you know like no need to leave if you even if you are not popular all that stuff is kind of kind of encouraging him in his own way and uh then he gets a phone call <laughs> and when they were talking like you know they bantered the whole thing uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny at the same time and that's what the board was saying that you know like when we were talking here it's like funny now why don't you do this on like you know on the radio and he's like oh i don't, can't, can't do that like how the hell do, should i know and anyways and then okay just a sec all right and then he gets a phone call and like in the phone call someone tells him that you've got a regular just a sec what did regular appearance no and the boar was like so happy like he was like oh my god yes finally and then he says that it's only me like damn that's uh like imagine like i don't know like how he feels like you know like it's really weird like you know your friend you want your friend's happiness but at the same time your friends get selected for something you're not whereas you were always together from the beginning and now you're getting separated and at the same time a little bit of envy like you know for your friend that he got selected and i did not and then at the same time like mixed with that envy you also feel happy for your friend that your friend got something like all this mixture of emotions weird so yeah i can kind of understand how he feels in the end and then comes the biggest surprise dobu comes in points a gun <laughs> and and i think that was it wasn't it yeah oh and then uh, shirakawa kind of shoots him a message i'll wait at the park across the clinic now i wonder what they're going to do yeah so yeah that was it so uh, a lot of things i kind of like you know we saw a lot more a lot of more mysteries are here as well and a few things that i thought here number one shirakawa is a little bit suspicious i'm not sure if that's like a false call or something but i feel like her actually telling odokawa that i like you is some kind of i don't know like something is wrong with that or something is up and she's trying to do something i might be wrong but this is just a thing that i'm thinking for this episode uh the next suspicious thing uh was the whole thing with uh yamamoto where he gets a phone call and i'm i'm guessing that was probably dobu on the other side you know like that was another like suspicious thing another suspicious thing is the whole thing with the idol you know the girl uh the cat girl the blackford cat girl and i'm still having suspicious on her but i might be wrong here i don't know like we'll also see and uh, yeah that was it so ah more mysteries more <laughs> suspense i'm sure we'll get our answers so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to our taxi episode number two so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out uh okay like i was i've been talking for a long time it's a lot of things to actually process so like you know the discussions are kind of getting longer so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the uh, next week with another uh, episode of odd taxi so until then goodbye and have a nice day